Lately I've been seeing a lot of people talk about how Pokemon is dying or that Pokemon is dead and I wanted to talk about that topic. Pokemon is a big part of my life as my channel is largely based on Pokemon so it's something that I take pretty seriously and I've been playing through the games ever since Pokemon Red version back in the late 90s. Now if you want a quick too long didn't watch I would say no Pokemon is not dead but there's a little bit more to it. Before we get too far into this video make sure you leave a like as it does help the channel a ton and it really does make a difference. Make sure you subscribe as well if you want to see more videos and check out my friends channels in the description as they really help me a ton making this video possible. So the first thing that we need to answer is why do people think Pokemon is dead? Now I think it's also important to differentiate the Pokemon community on YouTube from the general Pokemon franchise as a lot of the time people in the Pokemon community on YouTube forget that Pokemon is much, much bigger than what it is on YouTube. So when you say Pokemon is dead, we're not just talking about YouTube here. Pokemon is still one of the best selling franchises in the world and we can't just ignore that. Every single main series game that was first in their generation sold at least 15 million units with every secondary game selling at least 7 million. These are fantastic sales with the first game sales being relatively consistent since Ruby and Sapphire. The only exception here is Let's Go, which currently sold only 3.5 million copies as of this video, which isn't exactly the first new game of a generation, however it is the first new game on a console, and it's only been 2 months since the release, so that should go up quite a lot. We'll have to wait and see how the 2019 Pokemon game does, as that will be the first Pokemon game of a new generation to appear on the Switch. So if we were to go by main series video game sales alone, it would seem like no, Pokemon is not dead as the first game of each generation since Ruby and Sapphire has sold at least 15 million. And when you consider other aspects of Pokemon like the card game, toys, and other apparel, it's still going very strong. Now I can certainly see an argument that Pokemon is on the decline, but again, we won't know that for sure until the 2019 Pokemon game is out. Now when it comes to Pokemon on YouTube, that is a completely different story. So when people say Pokemon is dead in the context of Pokemon on YouTube, they aren't entirely wrong, but Pokemon as a franchise is still far from dead. Some arguments that people make for the Pokemon community on YouTube being dead is that the YouTube community is not that big in relation to how big Pokemon is as a whole, which isn't exactly a bad thing, but to me it seems like people who make and watch Pokemon videos on YouTube and on Twitch are the more hardcore Pokemon fans, while millions of casual fans just don't bother with YouTube and play the games or buy other Pokemon merchandise on their own without having to go online about it. Traffic on Pokemon videos has gone down in recent years as well, for myself included, and I think a big part of that is because people are just tired of seeing the same content over and over again when it comes to Pokemon content. Let's Plays, Battle Variations, and Shiny Hunting are the three biggest categories people make Pokemon content out of, and there's virtually no innovation or change in these because it's been around for so long. Sure, people might try to do a different Nuzlocke variant to put their own different rules on it, or battle in a different style, but at the end of the day, they're still just Let's Plays and they're still just Pokemon battles, which have been around since Pokemon has started on YouTube way back in the day. I feel like Pokemon Let's Plays peaked in 2014 or 2015 or so, and it's just been declining a little bit ever since. I see a lot of people blaming this on Pokemon as a franchise itself, when in my opinion I think the larger issue is the lack of change on YouTube. Pokemon on YouTube did a great job building itself up since YouTube's inception, but once we reached about 2015, it really hasn't developed much. The 6th generation era of Pokemon in general is when we saw a pretty big boom in Pokemon content on YouTube with a lot more people creating content and channels streaming which is great for the community but it did oversaturate it a little bit. Now don't get me wrong, having more people in this community is fantastic but from a viewer's standpoint they don't have the time or desire to watch all these different channels that are producing mostly the same type of content. This is part of the reason why I personally decided to focus less on uploading Pokemon battles and Pokemon Let's Plays like I used to in the earlier days of my channel and focus more on creating some different content that I find enjoyable. Now I don't claim that my content is the most original or I don't claim that my content is the best on YouTube but I have enjoyed coming up with some different ideas for my channel and it's been doing a little bit better since I started doing that a year or two ago. I can make a whole video about this topic in general but to wrap my thoughts up I would say that Pokemon as a franchise is not dead at all and when it comes to Pokemon on YouTube, it is a little stagnant right now, but that's just the natural progression of YouTube. I know we say this every time a new release is upon us, but a new game like the 2019 game on the Switch could pick things up a bit, and they usually do for a little bit, but then things tend to dip back down a little bit after. Now with this video, I really wanted to get other people's opinions on this. I asked them just the simple question, is Pokemon dead? without any other context because I want to see how they interpret that question as well if they even mention Pokemon on YouTube without me saying anything about it. 
Let's see what my friend Yuku has to say about this. His channel will be in the description as well, so make sure you go subscribe to him in the description. Henshin go go children of the sea, what's good guys? Yoku here, and question is, do I think Pokemon is dead? The answer to that is no. I think Pokemon goes through tons of stale periods throughout the year. I primarily believe that is because everyone and their mama does the same exact thing. I guarantee you, if you go on YouTube right now, you will see 27 Renegade Platinum playthroughs, maybe a let's go playthrough and whatever else is going on. There's a trend that happens with Pokemon and you know, one person does one thing, another does it right after them and so on and so forth. The issue isn't Pokemon's dead. In my opinion, the issue is everyone continues to do the same thing within the community and there's nothing really different about it. And that's why I say it's stale. If, if there were more things or more different content that wasn't the same, then you wouldn't see Pokemon being dead. You'd have a wider variety of what you can watch. Speaking of which, a lot of viewers solely only watch what whatever one to five different content creators they watch, specifically for whatever they do. Me personally, I I watch Nappy sometimes, uh, but he's one of the only LPers that I'll continue to watch from start to finish and a few other people that I'll watch from start to finish and I don't branch out. A lot of viewers that I've talked to about the same situation and asked that same uh, that same question, you know, whether it be through my videos or my streams, they don't want to branch out. They have no need to. If, if they're watching one person who they really enjoy an LP of or Wi-Fi battles or anything of the sort, they don't see a reason to branch out and give another guy a chance or, you know, look for someone new who might be doing something different. And that's the biggest reason that a lot of people say Pokemon is dead. It's just there's no variety in what you're watching. You're watching the same exact thing, maybe from a different content creator, but it's literally the same exact thing. Hey, randomized playthrough of Renegade Platinum. Hey guys, doing a randomized playthrough of Renegade Platinum. Hey guys, we're gonna do a randomized egg lock of Renegade. It's the same thing over and over and over again with a different face. All you do is find a personality that you really like. So there's my long answer of whether or not I think Pokemon is dead. Um, but yeah. All right, low key though. See, I can't, I can't wait until you make this because I actually want to hear everyone's opinions on whether or not they think Pokemon is dead and why or why not. I, I think this is a really good topic. And then I guess this is like, I don't know if you're going to keep this in there or not. I, I wouldn't, but. <laughs> and now let's hear what Nate has to say. His channel link will be in the description as well. So make sure you check out his channel. So is Pokemon dead? Is it dying? Is it growing? Is it going to blossom into this beautiful forest of flowers i don't know there's so many parts of pokemon that it's very hard to gauge where it's going because you have um right now i feel like we're at a time where the pokemon community is split probably more than it's been in a while because you have different parts of the pokemon community that are um, that will just do different things that they don't care about a certain aspect of pokemon and that's fine like you'll have people that will do purely just shiny hunting and they don't care about anything competitive. You'll have people that just play the games and after they beat the Elite Four, they're done. They don't really care about anything else. Then you have people that are in the game just purely for the enjoyment of uh, the battles, the after game, getting your Pokemon ready for the competitive scene. And there are people who don't even pick up the, the game itself and they will go to different stores, whether that's online or local, and they'll buy the TCG cards and they'll redeem the codes and they will play the Pokemon TCGO or just the regular TCG if that's, you know, that's their cup of tea. The, it's so hard to say that as a whole that Pokemon is dead because there's just too many aspects of Pokemon to just call it dead. Um, I, I work retail, just a little thing about myself, and we, like the section of the store, Pokemon has expanded. There's plushies, there's different toys, there's Legos now, and now we have the new Detective Pikachu movie coming out. It's like it's Pokemon is extre becoming extremely mainstream. They're adding, they added the new movie onto Netflix. It, it's growing. It's hard to say that. Um, that's true for all parts of the community. I know that there was a lot of talk, especially last year and maybe the year before, that VGC is the, which is the official way to play Pokemon. It's very hard to participate in the tournaments because of the pricing. It's very hard 
to say that all of the work and effort that is required for to to enter these games is worth it i think i heard something about the games uh, the the tournaments being like a 50 dollar entry fee which has gone up like drastically in price which is kind of insane it, it just seems that that they're making it even harder to to become uh, like involved in the pokemon community so i don't really know where i'm going to like end off here but i just think that there's so many parts of pokemon like i would say that the mainstream like overall view of pokemon is uh growing it's blossoming which is a good thing you know more pokemon means more people coming into the community that's great but there's also parts of the Pokemon community, like the competitive community, that might be suffering. So it depends on which angle, which view you look at it from. That'll probably, you know, determine whether you feel like it's dead or not. So, yeah. Um, my name is Nate. Also go by me too, Fan Nate. Thanks for having me. I will see you guys later. Bye. I think it's interesting how all of us answered pretty differently, with Yuku focusing more on YouTube, Nate focusing more on Pokemon as a franchise as well as the VGC and the training card game, and myself talking more about the general Pokemon main series video games, and of course how Pokemon is on YouTube. I think it just goes to show how different and open-ended the question of is Pokemon dead, which is why it can't exactly be answered one specific way because it's so open-ended. So what do you guys think? Is Pokemon dead? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below because I'd be very interested to hear from a viewer standpoint what you guys think. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe as it really helps the channel a ton. I'll see you guys next time and bye-bye.